overemphasizing the legs. Very, very common today that tennis teachers, coaches are overemphasizing the legs. So many tennis players watch tennis on TV. Uh, the great player from France, arguably one of the best athletes in the game today, Monfils, when he comes up to serve, he just has knee flexion like this. You want a combination of knee rotation and knee flexion. You're going to start forward, you're going to come back in this position. I think it will be Van Horn telling players years ago, what you want to do is jut your hip as a right-handed player. You're going to take your left hip and point it to the net post to the right. You want to decelerate the left side, accelerate the right side. Action, reaction principles. Now, with players just learning the base serve, where they're just going to come in the same way Gonzalez did on his serve. Pancho Gonzalez, arguably one of the best serves in the history of the game. We'll have a player just put the ball under the heel in this position. And we'll have him just shadow swing and walk forward this way, not moving the tennis ball. With having a continental grip and having the body, racket and body, go off to the right. Remember, most players want to serve this way. Forehand grip, body facing forward, serving towards their target. Now, keeping the tennis balls at a 45 degree angle. I should be able to shadow swing my serve, go forward, and not move the tennis balls. Again, it's not a matter of leg thrust. The first segment in the kinetic chain to reach its destiny is the back knee. So you're going to start forward, you're going to go back, you're going to load in this position. When you load, your weight is over your back foot, the knee turns in like this. When the knee turns in, then and only then can you turn your hip in. And remember, you want to stop the left side to accelerate the right side. Even though your target's in this position, the continental grip will align the racket face in this position, but you're going to swing away from your target. On all shots, you're blind to your target, but on the serve and overhead, you're actually swinging away from your target. So, uh, Sharapova, who obviously has copied Sampras on the serve, Sampras was in this position with the front leg. When we film, we often see players have the front leg straight. So Sampras was in this position, but by the time he served, he came up on the toe, turned the knee in to the point where his back was almost facing the net. Very much like the baseball player, it's going to be a matter of rotation. On the serve, the knees rotate, and therefore the hips rotate, and therefore the shoulders rotate. It's uncanny how the body and racket match one another. So you start forward, you come back, you load. Now again, so there is some knee flexion in this position, but it's a matter of knee rotation in this position. You can be very loose in your upper body, if you rotate your lower body properly in this position. It's deceiving thinking that the pros just do the limbo. They just come up, arch their back, and toss over their head. It's not tossing to the left, it's the players turn so much to the right, so much to the right that they do bring the toss in, but they're not bringing it literally over their head. So when it comes down to there is going to be knee flexion, but it's not a matter of the serve is down, up, like this. It's rotational right here with the racket, so it's rotational with the body. Now this right here is a rotational movement. Then the racket finally goes up where it's vertical, and that's where, just like on ground strokes, when you hit ground strokes, you're in this position, you're going to elevate and rotate your legs like this. The serve is the same. The serve is the same in this position. And it's a rotation the uncoiling, coil, uncoil, that takes you off the ground where players are airborne. Now, most of the top players will bring their back foot up in this position to the point where the back knee points this way. I mentioned Steve Denton on the tape as far as matchups. A great tennis player, great, great serve. Hit 13 aces in a row on the ATP Tour. He brought his foot up behind. That's how much he rotated in this position. So typically what happens when players are learning to play, they bring their foot up awkwardly without rotation. What you want to do is rotate first and then bring your foot up. And that can help you achieve 
more rotation and therefore be able to stay sideways longer in this position. But what you want to do is make sure you always look at the upper body and look at the swing. I find that when most players bring this foot up, they bring their elbow down in this position. But keep in mind when you put up the Christmas tree, you need to stand first and you need the star last. So when it comes down to it, for young players it would be best for them just to turn in this position, serve, and go forward. But then as they improve, they certainly can go in, and this has already been mentioned in this course, if they were to go in with their left foot first. The left foot first will help them block out the left side and accelerate the right, fa right side faster. You can go into the net faster if you just went in this way. But if you go in left side first, you're not going to get as, as close to the net as fast. But what happens is you're going to have a higher return because you're going to get more miles per hour on your serve stopping the left side. But um, again, don't overemphasize the legs. You see so many kids thinking that this is going to really help them serve harder. But it's going to be a matter of rotation and the knees work once again like this. You're going to just turn and then you load like this. So you don't want to see someone just come up and do the curtsy where they're just going this way, where their knees both collapse. It's not a matter of the knees collapsing, it's a matter of the knees turning. So weight goes forward, comes back, and you turn in this position. Okay.